Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey, and it is Bagel Sunday. I I'm shocked because it's already almost 70 degrees out. It's supposed to be a high of 75. Tomorrow is supposed to be like 80. Awesome. It looks like it rained, though. It kind of feels like it, although I didn't know it was supposed to. But okay, it's not raining now, and that's cool. Time to go get bagels. We decided to go to the Norfolk Botanical Garden. So here's the wife, all excited about the purple flowers. And here's all the kids playing on the sand pile. And apparently, as you can hear, I guess it's not every day that you're allowed to bring your dogs in, but today's one of those days. So there are lots of doggies around. It's also unbelievably windy. So maybe not the optimal day to come here, but it's 75 degrees and mostly sunny or partly sunny, however you want to put it. So I really wanted her to come out with me. So here we are. So we're going to make the best of it and uh, just enjoy walking around. We're in the enchanted forest. It's enchanting. Okay, kids, we are going with old tricks because they're the best tricks. So what have I done, you ask? I dug out one of my ZV-1s and I redid all the settings so that I'm using the fake s -Cinetone and have everything turned on and all that shit. And I got it all set up now. And this is going to, for now, be my Forerunner vlogging setup. I found that the A7 IV with all that shit connected to it was just way too big and heavy to be in here set up the way that I had it set up or the way that I was trying to set it up and it just it, it wasn't cutting it and it was stressing me out and it was jiggling all over the place and I couldn't get this damn thing set up now the setup that I've got here which clearly is in the center of the whole place is actually the best I've ever had it set up so I'm again using that cheese plate I have Velcro all on the back, but I have it on the back on two plates that I screwed into the cheese plate. So they're, they're I don't know, they're like, a, I don't know, maybe an inch wide, two inches long each, screwed into the back edge that sticks out a little bit over the edge. And then I've got Velcro on that. So it sticks on the Velcro that I had on the dash. That way there's more Velcro touching. Then I use these two quarter 20 rods that, that I bought at Home Depot cut them to size and it actually worked out better because now this it, one rod is on this side of the radio screen and the other one is on that side so the screen's not blocked at all and I can still see my clock now I'm using the mantis pod uh, mini ball head thing that I hated because of having to you know have that thing get uh, that lever get pushed and it flops all over the place well now that's sitting up here I'm not going to ever touch it so there's no chance of me doing that Theoretically, I mean, I'm the monkey. I'm sure I can find a way. Then I use my original Rode Wireless Go, and I'm going to be using that strictly for this in in Forerunner setup. That way, I get decent audio. Now, I, I have already had a USB, I don't know, if it's micro cable hooked in here for this setup a long time ago. So that's set. I just have to re-zip tie everything because I cut them to get the USB-C cable out of here. All that being said, everything is set up now. And I'm going to go out and test this by driving, you know, through the shitty parts of the construction and all that kind of stuff just to see how this handles. Now, again, when I had the A7 IV in here, I was flipping out because this monopod was moving so much that it was freaking me out. And, and I just thought that it was too jiggly. Dead Broke Barbecue said you can't even see any movement. So, again, it's the monkey being all freaky about it. That's okay, though, because when it gets right down to it, this is a better setup for me in this car. I, this little camera instead of that big behemoth setup. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing is not keeping the A7 IV hooked up to that Titan battery all the time. It's just gigantic. And while it 
is nice to have that much battery. I just don't think I need to have that all the time. It'll be nice if I know I'm going to be out for a while and I'm going to be filming a lot and I don't want to bring 10 batteries. I can just bring that and I can have that all set up. No problem. But as far as like my day to day, I, I just don't think I need it. Oh man, the allergies are strong today because it's so nice out. And uh, I'm, oh, I just want to jam like pipe cleaners up into my sinuses. Allergies suck. So yeah, we're going to go out and we're going to drive around. We're going to test this out. The only thing that concerns me on this is that you have to have started with a 100% charged battery. The battery was dead because it's been sitting there for so long and I haven't used a battery other than the one that sat in the camera for the longest time and I don't know which one that is. So it drained and I plugged it in and started charging it. I mean, it was plugged in for a couple of minutes at, at best. And I started going through and trying to set up the, well, all the settings, but I was in trying to recreate that fake acinetone and it shut off, it said battery exhausted. That reminds me that you gotta start, it's gotta be 100% before you hook it up into power, so that way when the battery's going down and it's getting charged at the same time, you're starting from 100% and you should be able to, to charge at the same time you're losing and it stays charged and it won't shut off. But in my case, it was already drained. So there, there really wasn't anything left. Oh man, I can't believe how bad this is right now. I'm gonna just start frothing at the nose here. Sorry. Okay, but that being said, I now have this cheese plate forerunner center console rig set up and good to go. I also put the little contraption that I said that I was gonna build with the uh, the paracord and the buckle that is Velcroed into the, to, to the little patch on the dashboard to hold it just in case it tries to tip forward, but it ain't going anywhere. I mean, the way that it's Velcroed along the back and then having those quarter 20 rods on the front, it's all held really well. I'm actually pretty amazed at, at how sturdy this is. And because I'm only putting the ZV-1 on there, not the A7 IV with all that other shit on it, all is well. And I can kind of see the screen, but you can see I keep leaning over. What I did was I, I centered it in the, like the camera is set up so that it's centered right above, I mean, the center line. I mean, it's centered. And then I turn the camera so that I have like equidistant on the sides of the headrest. So in theory, it should be centered. This should be good to go. And then I won't have this, you know, huge camera blocking everything and being horrible. I don't have my screen blocked, which is important because with that monopod that I had on there, it blocked the screen and it made it that I couldn't see everything with the backup camera. So I knew that that wasn't gonna work. I really didn't spend any money on any of this other than the, the two quarter 20 rods. This road is shitty and, and curvy and bumpy, so it, it's a good test to see how this looks. This is gonna look different though, obviously, because I have this 8-bit one-inch sensor ZV-1 not my full frame sensor, actual S Cinetone full frame A7 IV in 10-bit 422. Gonna look different when I'm you know, putting on the, the footage from any time I'm in the Forerunner compared to when I'm filming with the A7 IV. The anchor system isn't super tight, but then again, it doesn't need to be. It just needs to catch it if it starts to fall and that's, that's what it's gonna do. I didn't wanna pull that too tight because I didn't want it to yank up on this cheese plate because it's, uh, you know, I got it like jammed right up against the dashboard to give it additional structure. All right, that's all I've got for you for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.